all its joys and all its pains. The second gift was frankincense. Incense associated with worship. And so we cannot talk of worship without also talking about God whom we worship. And so incense is a symbol of God. If that's, these two were given to Jesus, it means Jesus was fully human and Jesus was fully and completely God. And of course, these two coming together in the third gift, gold. Gold in the ancient Near East was seen and considered as the king of all metals. So it was a precious item. People sought for it. So for that gift to be given to Jesus means that this child is exceptional. This child is a leader, a born king. The first among equal. Let's gather the three gifts together and see how they apply to us. Yes, the Catholic, what the Catholic Church says. The Almighty God did what filled him with words of blessing. And what did he say? He said, I can see a star rising in Jacob. Remember, the purpose of the cause was to suppress. But then, the outcome of the sacrifice now say, I can see a star rising. Meaning what? That Jacob is unsurmountable. Jacob is indomitable. Jacob is invincible. Listen to me, child of God. I don't care about who goes out, I mean, after this, or maybe who has gone before now to curse you. But I am standing here as your priest to let you know that you are indomitable. No power can curse you. And even if there has been a curse upon your life, by the blessings you are receiving, we cancel it. No cause is allowed to operate in your life in the year 2018 in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Can somebody shout it loud in the name of the Lord? Yeah. So, the summary of that context simply says that the Messiah referred to as a star is a person who will rule. A person who will have dominion. And don't forget to share that dominion according to Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. Be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. That means from the very moment God created you, God created you a star. Tell your neighbor you are a star. But today you are becoming a superstar because it's one thing for you to be a star. It's another thing for you to know that you are just not any ordinary star. You are a star with a difference. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, when we are talking about star, what are we referring to? I can say, number one, the star is a divine opportunity. Tell your neighbor, it is a divine opportunity. Now, I'm going to use star and light and glory interchangeably. A little bit on glory. Glory in Greek is called doxa. And doxa has to do with something that shines, splendor, brightness. That is in the Greek use of it, doxa. However, the Hebrew use of the word glory is kabod. And kabod has to do with something that is heavy, something that has weight. Is somebody following me? Meaning that the message I am giving to you is filled with the glory of God and has the weight of the glory of God. And by the time you receive the weight of this glory, you begin to shine. So when the word of God says, arise and shine, it means that you have what it takes to make your weight and your presence felt wherever you are. So you are not ordinary. Amen? So I am calling it your star or your light is your divine opportunity because the word of God says, arise and shine for your light has come. So what is that light? I call it opportunity. Let's look at it this way. David was a bush boy, but he was a king, even inside the bush. Until Samuel was sent to the house of Jesse, he remained a bush boy, hidden. He was a local champion. But by the time the anointing from Samuel came upon his life, they are told the Spirit of the Lord took over his life. In other words, he has been packaged, but he has not yet manifested. Hallelujah. 
For God to make David to manifest, God needed to give him an opportunity to shine. And that is when God now brought him Goliath. So Goliath needed to be there for David to manifest. So Goliath presented David with an opportunity for David to shine. Child of God, hear me and hear me clearly. That what might come to him in the year 2018 as seemingly a difficult moment or an obstacle is actually meant to manifest to you. Adversity will reveal whoever you are and what the Lord has deposited in you. Get ready. Tell your neighbor, get ready to manifest. Whatever will come to you like a dollar will be reduced to zero, to nothing. In the name of Jesus. So it is an opportunity to shine. So light, star here is an opportunity to shine. I say the star also could be a name. It could be your talent. It could be your identity. It could be the anointing you carry. What makes it a star is not just because it is a name, or it is a talent, or it is identity, or an anointing, but it is whatever that announces you. Whatever can speak about you even in your absence. Jesus was not there when he was manifested, but the star spoke about him. Your integrity could be your star. And so you don't need to allow your integrity or your name to be soiled. Hallelujah. I say the star or the light or the glory of God in your life could also be your divine connection. Because the star of Jesus was able to connect him with the wise men. And the wise men did not go to Jesus empty handed. They carried gifts that spoke of his identity and that also spoke of his future. Therefore, listen to me. God, the God that we serve, the God whose I am and whom I serve, will not only bring you helpers, but will give you such helpers that will recognize who you are and your word and celebrate it. In the name of Jesus. So God will give you associates. God will give you partners. God will give you helpers. Who will help you to realize your dream in life? Was Jesus human? Yes. Was he God? Yes. Was Jesus a king? Is he still a king today? Yes. So from today I decree that the people who will come your way will be people who align and help you realize your identity. Yeah. And you fulfill your destiny. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. As I speak, you don't need to be all over the place. But let there be something about you, either your name or your talent that will announce you to the world. The word of God says you have hidden for so long. You have prayed on that mountain for so long. It is time for you to break camp and move. That is what is meant by arise and shine for your light has come. Listen to me, the word that I speak to you is also a light. For Jesus said, the word of God says, your word is a lamp unto myself and a light for my path. So as I speak the word, the word is to steer you, to rise to that greatness that God has given to you. Listen to me, you are not ordinary. You are not just ordinary. There is an extraordinary side of you. That is why incense had to go with the man. And when the two of them come together, then you become a gold. Tell your neighbor you are a gold. You are precious, and the word of God in Isaiah chapter 43, verse 4 says, You are precious. It says, You are honorable. It says, You are important. You are of value. Child of God, listen to me. I have a singular mandate to bless you this new year. I have a mandate to speak from this sanctuary that every power that is conspiring. To kill your star who be disappointed. God disappointed Herod. Every Herod that will rise up against you will be disappointed. God wants to let you know that you are going to encounter three sets of people in the year 2018. But you don't have to worry. You may encounter the lies of Herod. Herod is a killer. Herod is, uh, signifies hatred and hostility. But no matter how hostile they are, no matter how much they hate you, God will make a way for you. 
the heroes are important in your life because they are the ones who will make you not to take things for granted, to go and sleep. Sometimes there will be somebody who will say, I will kill you, for you to remember that you are unkillable. <laughs> There is somebody that says you cannot rise for you to go back to the scripture and know that God says you should arise and shine. So they are important. And Psalm 23 says, Thou prepared a table for me in the presence of my enemies. So those are the categories of error. But they will see who you will become. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are people in the category of the chief priest. And the scribes, these are lawyers, those who claim to be wise people, but they are not using their wisdom to advance the glory of God's children. They collaborate with Herod. On their own, they are indifferent. Whatever Jesus means does not touch them. They are adamant. These are the people in your life. Whether you are dying, they don't care. Whether you are happy, they don't care. They are just like that. Mm, like zombie in your life. And they will come to you only to study you, to study your destiny, to do things about you, to report to Herod. They are not the ones who are dealing with you, but they have the facts and data about you that could help Herod to deal with you. Listen to me. Every unfriendly friend in the year 2018, people who will come to you, who will study scriptures, who will study and investigate, make findings about who you are. In the year 2018, God will disappoint them. Their enterprise cannot stand and will not stand because our God is the overall in the name of Jesus. And finally, you encounter people like the Magi. People who come to you with gifts. These are the people who appreciate you. These are your helpers. These are the people who value you, who know your worth. Even without seeing you, they respect you. And when they come to you, they come to you in humility. These are the people who encourage you to live out your life. May God bring more of such people into your life in Jesus' name. Yeah. This could be your friends, could be your spouses, could be your life partner, could be your business partners. Wherever you are made, I are. Let your star attract them and magnets them to you. I speak the word of God. I speak the word into your life right here and now. Wherever they are, whether they are in the east, or in the West, whether they are hidden or manifested, in the year 30 years, they will encounter you. They will locate you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be people who will help you to realize the talent that you have, the beauty that is in you, the grace of God that you carry in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be people who accept inconveniences. They travel a great distance. They were ready to do anything to get to the Savior. They didn't to see the source of salvation. Child of God, you are already a salvation to somebody. And because of you, I am saying even if you are business, you are to be hidden in the bush. But because of the word that you are carrying today, people will look at that business. God himself will be the one to announce you. Don't forget the star of Jacob is Jesus. So the same Jesus that was born was manifested as a star. And Jesus himself says, I am the light of the world. And those who follow me cannot walk in darkness. Because you are here for the sake of Jesus. You see what Jesus has brought you to the church? You are here because of Jesus. Therefore, no darkness can overcome you. In the name of Jesus. I decree divine disappointment upon every camp. That will pretend. Go and see him so that they can also come and worship him. Fa, 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 fa. When they try that their enterprise, God will expose them. And God will only expose them, God will disappoint them. As for you, your light will shine. What little talents do you have? Manifest that talent in Jesus' name. So for you to shine, get ready. The little things you have been doing, keep being good. Then your neighbor continue to be good. David kept being good even when he was in the bush. 
The father was not there to supervise him, but he needed to take care of the sheep. He would have been going about smoking. He didn't do that. He took care of the little that was given to him, and God rewarded him. So if you are to shine, continue to be good. Be hardworking, be diligent, be determined, and be committed. Keep being good. Then you never keep being good. So if you are to succeed in the year 2018, do not be discouraged. You have to succeed in this year. You need diligence. The word of God says God rewards those who diligently seek him. The main guy diligently sought Jesus. They kept following the star, and the star led them to their destination. They saw Jesus before the end of this year. That which you desire, that which you seek, you will find. The door you are knocking will be open unto you. What you are asking, you shall receive. In the name of Jesus Christ. Child of God, I just feel like blessing you constantly. And you can be sure that all the masses I say, whether in the daytime or at night, God will always pay the 